everything around him decided finally to warm up himself. There was no problem in the circles where he hung out, putting an end to yourself. You just bought a large quantity of dollars and took them with some cheap wine. The planning part had to do with the artifacts he wanted found on him by later archaeologists. He had spent several days deciding, much longer than he had spent deciding to kill himself. He would be found lying on his back on his bed with a copy of a and an unfinished letter to Exxon protesting the cancellation of his gas credit card. That way, he would indict the system and achieve something by his death, over and above what the death itself achieved. At the last moment, he changed his mind on a decisive issue and decided to drink the pills with a connoisseur wine instead of Ripple or Thunderbird. So he set off on one last drive on Heine's Liquors, which specialized in fine wines, and bought a bottle of 2001 Azalea Springs Merlot, which sent him back almost $17. He uncorked the wine, let it breathe, drank a few glasses of it, tried to think of something meaningful, but could not. And then, with a glass of Merlot, gulped out all the pills at once. However, he had been burned. Instead of quietly suffocating, Charles Frank began to hallucinate.
Ну, вроде как делал. Не запонимайся. 